to Adam with Milo's Restoration. And if you follow the channel a lot, you might know that typically I do furniture restoration and painting on this channel. But there's kind of been not a whole lot of uh, furniture from thrift stores recently. I don't know what the deal is, but as far as like finding antique and vintage furniture, it's just been kind of a wash recently. So I decided that I wanted to try my hand at kind of building some furniture that I had had an idea for. And it's going to be pretty simple. This is going to be like a plinth block kind of modern style coffee table with Venetian plaster on it. And it's going to have like kind of gold accents. But I'm going to use real Venetian plaster unlike the other video I did recently. So yeah, I started by ripping down some plywood. Uh, this is half inch on my track saw. And then I joined it all together with pocket hole screws. And I used some glue too. So what I can tell you about, you know, buying materials for this project is that if you try to go to Home Depot or somewhere like that and, you know, Lowe's and buy the wood, um, this kind of plywood is probably going to run you about $60 a sheet. This is kind of basically just going to be your basic Baltic birch, you know, half inch plywood. And uh, you can get it for around 30 to 40 a sheet if you go to like any kind of specialty lumber store typically. They're going to be at least 30% cheaper, maybe 40 in some cases. But yeah, I can get I can get Baltic birch and stuff like this. And I, I don't buy a lot of it, so they have no reason to give me any special prices or anything. So you can probably get it for around 28 to $40 a sheet on the, on the lower end if you know where to look. But I would definitely start by calling local lumber stores before you try at Home Depot. But last option, you know, if you need to, you can get it from there, but it's going to cost around 50 to 60 And I really just needed one sheet for this also. So I'm just temporarily attaching this uh, piece of plywood. I, I put it flush with the bottom of the kind of case of the table. And the reason that I did that was that I wanted the legs to sit basically flush. And then I mix up some body filler and I put it in all of the kind of, you know, corners and crevices and everything, where the, especially the butt joints where the plywood met. And uh, yeah, I filled it and I sanded it and then I put glazing putty all over it and uh, that was it. I primed it after that and I used a vinyl primer. You typically want to use a quartz primer also whenever you're doing Venetian plaster, especially if it's not like a glossy Venetian plaster. You want to use like Miotid or one of those other brands quartz primer.
So this is Miotid's Mamarino Paladino, I think is how you say it. And it's a custom color. It's Water's Edge by Benjamin Moore. And basically this product kind of feels like a micro cement. That's the best way I could describe it. You put it on pretty thin. And I only needed one gallon for this product. I mean for this, you know, project. So basically I just start by taking a trial and applying it as really as thin as I can. On the first coat, don't worry about getting all of the areas covered and everything. It's not really necessary. You just want to try and get as much coverage as you can. But it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. So after I waited around 24 hours for this first coat to dry, I sanded it back basically flat with 180. It sands really well, so just something to know. After it's dried, it sands pretty easily, and you can basically get it as flat as you want it to. And, you know, at that point, you can kind of do whatever you want with it. I wanted to add some gold accents into it. I just tested a little bit here on the side, but then later I'm going to add the gold to it. This is the second coat of plaster, and as you can see, it goes on a lot easier than the first coat, and it's a lot easier to put it thinner, if that makes any sense. I guess you could put it on, you know, a little thinner on the first coat, and it might dry faster, but I just didn't really get the kind of coverage that I wanted, so, you know, I had to put it on a little bit thicker. But, um, yeah, it, it, it came out a lot better, and it seems like it is a lot easier to work with on the second coat.
So after the plaster had about 10 minutes to set up, I went back and I used a trowel and I smoothed it down and I kind of burnished it. So basically when you burnish it, you press it pretty hard and you really compress the material. And it gets like kind of a smooth look and adds movement to the, to the plaster. As well as kind of going over all of the corners again to make sure they look right. So after I sanded it, it added, you know, some of the texture to it and kind of brought out some of the highs and lows. And I took a gold spray paint can and basically just kind of put it in all of the really low areas. And then I'm going to sand it again to basically remove all of it. It kind of looks like graffiti right now, but it'll look better in a minute, trust me. So at this point, you can see that I've kind of got the table basically done. I've got all the legs on. These are just some legs that I ordered off Amazon. They were like, I don't know, 40 bucks, maybe 30 actually. And there's some black stains on it though, on the side. And for a while, I had to put this piece off to the side and let it sit because I didn't know what to do about it. Because basically where I sanded away the, uh, the spray paint, I was left with these black areas of like it basically looked just like stained plaster but i finally kind of just had the idea to take a little bit of lacquer thinner and i wiped all of the areas that were stained and it basically made them go away now you can still see a little bit of movement from the you know the texture of the plaster there but basically yeah the stains were gone and i was able to put the gold wax on it and i'm just using miotis hydro wax and basically i burnished it in and then I used a buffer to buff the wax into the table. 
and yeah, I was I was kind of scared for a minute there because I didn't really know what I was going to do about the staining. I actually originally took some pictures of it and was done with this table. But after I saw the staining, I was like, I can't sell this. So yeah, I figured it out. And uh, the lacquer thinner helped a lot. If you try this method, you basically have to wipe the stained areas with some kind of thinner. So the wax needs to sit for anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes, typically for before it's buffed in. And here's the finished product. I'm glad I got rid of the staining. And there's still a couple areas that I actually went back and wiped with thinner again. And just had to rewax those areas but other than that it came out good i've gotten some offers for it on facebook but it is not sold yet and uh i'm hoping it does soon so yeah if you like these kinds of projects please subscribe and thanks for watching